Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I want to show you how you can apply gravity to your game in Unity. Don't forget, click the subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything I've got on video game development on my channel. With that in mind, let's get to work. So I know most people who use Unity will probably think this video is just oversimplistic. However, remember I cater for people who are new to Unity, and people who are new to Unity may not understand how gravity actually turns on in a scene. It's not just as simple as flicking a switch to say gravity is now on, everything is affected by gravity. It just doesn't work like that. We have to determine which objects should be affected by gravity. So we have uh, all these rocks here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these rocks, every single one, and I'm going to bring them up above the ground. So up to there and if we press play, we can see that no gravity is applied to this whatsoever. There's no gravity. Now, there are two things that we have to make sure each object has before we can make sure gravity is going to affect them. Those two things are a collider and a rigid body. So without those two things, theoretically, gravity is not going to work as intended. The reason I say that is because if we just add the collider, so every object now has a collider. It doesn't matter whether it's box collider, mesh collider, capsule collider. So each one of those now has a collider, but still doesn't work with gravity. The next thing I'm going to add is that rigid body. So if you type in rigid for a component, you'll be able to add that rigid body right there. And you can see here, this tick box for use gravity is ticked. Now, if we press play, you can see, yep, the rocks have done that. However, the reason the rocks have done that is because the physics of the rigid body has been applied. So we now have to remember that they feel like they are colliding into each other. So that is the reason that this is happening. If I were to remove that box collider and press play again, we can see that yes, they are now falling to the ground, but without that collider, they just fall through the ground. So that is the reason both of those components need to exist on the objects. So each one now has the collider again. And what I'll quickly do is I'll bring each of these rocks so they are separated and won't collide into each other and just basically fall down onto the ground. So we should be able to see gravity in all its force. So like I said earlier, it's not all about just turning on gravity um, with a switch because that just is not how gravity works within Unity. It's all done via those two components. And once you have those two components, you'll be able to add gravity, no problem. Uh, I'll leave that as it is for now. Okay, so if we press play now, we should see all these rocks fall down. There we go. So gravity has now been applied to those objects. Nice. So guys, that is how you apply gravity. Like I said, I know it's a, it seems like a real simple tutorial for those experienced users of you, but remember beginners wouldn't see the correlation between something called rigid body and gravity. So I hope that helps all you beginners out there and I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.